And instantly, I knew where I was. I am about to be before Jesus. Hey guys, how's it going? Matt here today, and today I want to share with you guys a dream that I had. People often ask me, like, how are you so into this Christian stuff? Why are you doing all this stuff? Why are you spending all your time on this ministry? Why are you putting your money into this? Why are you hosting these nights? The simple answer to that is I've come to realize that Jesus is literally everything. We can do whatever we want. We can live the life that we want to live, but at the end of the day, Jesus is what it's all gonna be about. In turn, I've just decided to focus my passion and everything that I do on Christ. And that's not something I'm forcibly doing. It is, it's something that uh, you know developed in me as I prayed and asked God to just uh, use me for His glory. And part of that, that, that story leading up to is, is a dream that I had a couple years ago in 2017. And before we get into, you know, oh, a dream, oh, is this is going to be heresy and all that, you know, have a listen first. Hear what I'm trying to say. Hear what I'm, you know, I'm not saying some random crazy stuff. I'm. Before we hop into the dream, I actually want to give you just a little background on who I am in my life leading up to this moment so everything can kind of make sense. So, my name is Matt, 31 years old. I grew up in a Baptist church. You know, I've been there every Sunday of my life from the age of two. You know, I, I was on the worship team for many years. Went to Sunday school. I did Awanas. I had all the jewels. Picture perfect Christian boy that did whatever their mom and dad told them. You know, you get the picture. I was one of those kids. But inside, you know, I knew nothing about Jesus. I knew that I needed salvation to go to heaven. I needed to accept Jesus that died on the cross for my sins. But that's where it ended. And long story short, when I was 21, 18, 19 years after being in the church my whole life, that's when I truly met Jesus. At that time, a group of friends in the church I was going to, we had a little mini revival of young people. I can't get any better than this. Fortunately, you know, it can get better than that. You know, my life went on. I met my soon to be wife, Ashley. We got engaged, we got married, you know, we went to school, we got our degrees, we both got our jobs in our field, we were both getting promotions, we both had cars, we both bought a house, we both had no debt, uh, you know, we're traveling, just enjoying life. But in my heart, I knew, I was like, ah, there must be more, you know, like, I know there's more. There must be more than just living a Christian life, being involved in church and stuff, and, and then and just being successful and i remember i was 27 years old in 2017 i used to walk around at nighttime just looking at my house and like thank you god for this beautiful house thank you god for this life that i live in but i'm and then just feeling empty inside i'm like this is not all you have for me and my wife and and, and everyone in general use me god i want to speak for you i want to bring your gospel to places lord just use me i know there's more but i don't know how to get there and i did this for months and months you know just longing for more you know it, it was just one of those balances back and forth back and forth as waves of you know being with Christ and kind of doing my own thing, being with Christ, not caring about Christ. And, you know, it was just eating away at me. And I remember just having a bad couple weeks in the sense where I wasn't reading my Bible. I wasn't uh, praying as much. I was just enjoying my life, you know, a little too much. This is where the dream starts. So I work nights and I remember coming home and I usually, when I come home from work, I'll sit on the couch, I'll watch TV and I'm not gonna go upstairs, wake up my wife or anything like that. But uh, this night, it was, uh, as I was watching TV, this wave of tiredness just hit me and I passed out on the couch. In the dream, my soul slipped away from me, died, passed away, whatever it may be. All I saw when I opened my eyes the next moment, I was on this path, like a winding path. And I'll put a picture up here so you can kind of see what I'm saying. And in the distance, there was this gate with, uh, it was just a gate with bright lights behind it and the sky was red purple pink just like this beautiful sky that you'd see in a summer night and instantly i knew where i was i was like low-key starting to panic inside because i was like i am about to be before jesus 
There is heaven. Heaven is before me. I'm making my way to judgment. I'm making my way to see Christ face to face. I, instead of being excited and happy, this is what I found myself saying in my heart. You know, I wasn't afraid that I wasn't going to get into heaven, but what frightened me was I was only 27. And I remember saying this in dream, I'm only 27 years old. This isn't my plan. This isn't what I thought my life would be. What about my wife? What about, you know, my future kids? What about my family? What about my job? What about the things that I wanted to do in life? I'm 27. I'm not ready for this. This isn't how I thought my life would be. And at that moment, it's just me on the path. There's no one there, no, none of my friends, none of my family, none of my belongings, my bank account, all my, uh, everything that I had, it was just me heading towards Christ behind that gate. And I just, you know, it was just, there was just panic. There was a surprise, an element of surprise. Like I said, it wasn't that I was scared about not going to heaven. It was the fact that I didn't think that it would become this quick. I didn't think that I would be seeing Jesus when I was 27 and that's what frightened me because a lot of us don't think that either. And at that moment, you know, I never went into heaven. I, you know, I walked down the path a bit and all these emotions came through my body and you know, all I felt in my soul and in my heart, I can't explain it, but it was all I heard, not audibly, but what I heard in my spirit was like, you never know when Jesus is going to come back or when you're going to die. So live for Christ now. And immediately I woke up. And when I woke up, I just came out of the chair, the couch, and I was like breathing hard. You know, I see the TV on and I'm looking around and I'm just breathing. I'm like, oh, thank God I'm still alive. That was so real. That could have been me tonight. I could be 27 and, and, and meeting Jesus. Not even thinking that that's a possibility because I was so lost in doing whatever I wanted to do with my life. And immediately the verses that came in my heart, you know, is Matthew 7, 13, and, and uh, Matthew 7, 21 to 23, and Matthew 6, 33, you know, seek the kingdom first and all this stuff. And, you know, at that moment, I just realized, I was like, there's nothing else in this life that's worth anything other than Christ. From that night, uh, a switch flicked in my head where I cannot get Jesus out of my brain and out of my thoughts. And I'm not trying to boast, but when I wake up, all I talk about is God. When I go out with friends, all I talk about is God. When I'm around family, all I talk about is God. And it's not because I'm trying to, it's just because I've set my sight on eternity and the only thing that I see in eternity is Jesus. Our culture said, hey, just do everything else other than Jesus. You know, don't be too radical. Don't be too, I'm telling you guys, forget what people are saying. It's not biblical. Christ says, chase after me, Matthew 6, 33, seek the kingdom first, not second, not third, not fourth, not fifth. He doesn't say seek your career first. He doesn't say seek your finances first. Seek anything. He says, seek the kingdom of God first. So although this was just a dream, it's not just a dream. It's a foreshadow of what's to come for every single person here on earth, believer, unbeliever, it doesn't matter who you are. We're all gonna stand before Christ one day and have to give an account for our lives. And you see, the reason why I'm sharing this dream is because we all think that we have time. We all think that this is coming. We can think about this later. I'm telling you guys, God awoken my heart, showed me that, hey, I am coming like a thief in the night. You never know what time it's going to be. So live for me. Don't be lazy. Don't put me off. Don't put me for later. I said, today's the day of salvation. Live for me. Seek after me now. So I don't care how old you are. It's, it's never too late to jump into a life after Christ. So anyways, guys, I hope this blessed you. Stay tuned for more content and let's just keep chasing after Christ together. Peace.